podcast talking about? I was literally just. Welcome to another fantastic episode of the RK Tokens. We are the RK Tokens. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow. Leo Thomas, a.k.a. Mr. Slick Living. Patrick Cloud. And of course, on the ones and twos, giving us all the tech needs that we need. The tech god himself, Kadeem, a.k.a. Cathadius, a.k.a. Kalos Media. What's going on, everybody? Uh, so, as y'all know, we are always known for going down a rabbit hole of excitement, mystery, wonder. And sometimes we just go all the way left with it. And, of course, we did that today before we started. And this is going to be a great one because who doesn't like cereal? Cereal. Right? Right. But before we get into the rabbit hole of cereal, I want to start still on the surface level. Uh, Pat, you had asked a very great question, and I would like for you to, if you could, please, for everybody uh, listening and watching on YouTube, the question that you asked us, sir. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember exactly what you're talking about. (laughs) My question is this. I got you, Pat. Just tag me back in. <laughs> tag me back in. <laughs> so, Pat, you had that. You asked us, was is there outside of cereal? Cereal is very much known for being pushed because of its mascots. From oh, right. Like, uh, uh, from like the original uh, Twix uh, Bunny to the Lucky Charms Leprechaun, they're very heavy in creating characters to help push their cereal to their audience. And the question you had posed to us was, outside of cereal, is there any other? like uh type of like as far as like cookies or anything else that has such a strong mascot presence yeah because when you think about it like growing up like cereal had to have a strong mascot or we weren't buying it you know they really really pushed that and we were, we even touched on the fact that how like sports teams have mascots that are involved but it's very focused on the game you know uh car commercials their car companies that will use like the Michelin man or the general, but it just ends up being like weird looking CGI in the, in the commercials. But it seems like cereal specifically has it, has the mascot game cornered because all the most popular cereals have all the most popular mascots, you know? And, and I don't, I, I definitely think that that's something that, you know, I don't know who the first, you know, cereal maker <laughs> to, to add a mascot because it's really hard to sell just little, you know, wheat puffs or wheat, you know, flakes. So they had to, you know, start adding the marshmallows and the colors and the themes. And then I'm, I'm, I'm sure that after that, they started adding mascots. But aside from cereal, like, I, I can't really think of a lot of um, things that have mascots that heavy. Can we, can we scroll back up really quick? There's, there's a little uh, picture that I saw up here that really shined a light on the ones that we, don't, we didn't remember. Right here in the second line, that last picture all the way to the right. The Hawaiian Punch guy's in there. Totally forgot about him. Yeah. The Nesquik Bunny. Totally forgot yeah. about him. Cool aid uh, guy. Drinks uh, are definitely mascot. Yeah. Oh, the Pringles dude. The Pringles guy. Oh, the plan. Uh, planters. Planters peanuts. Planters that peanuts. Guy. Yeah. Shit. I see. Uh, like, so it seems like snack foods have really like cornered that. Oh shit, the Seven Up guy. Oh shit, the dot with the glass with the oh, shades. Yeah, I forgot about him. It's weird that all of these all of these are drinks. Yeah, the, yeah. I'm just the trying icy to see. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. What's the dairy one? The one with the cow. What was it again? Oh, uh, isn't company that the, is that? that's the that's the the cheese. It's like a whole dairy thing though. They got milk, all kind of stuff. You talking about the happy cow? But I don't think that's the. I don't think it's that one. Skinny no, cow. no, it's not happy cow. No, or like, skinny cow. Like, they no, not skinny cow. Like they got a whole bunch of products. Like, they got cheese, like all kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I just wonder, I always wonder about like how things started and it's it's very interesting to have a cereal and just say, I think that a cartoon rabbit could sell this. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and you know what's funny, like outside, I think from, from looking at it with just food, like if I remember, like most people would just like, like companies would just license already famous cartoon characters. Like I remember like always like growing up seeing like Hanna-Barbera characters or like Looney Tune characters. Like I remember, uh, I don't know if y'all had this out here, but did y'all have Time Warner Cable? Yes. Yeah. So if y'all remember it, Time Warner Cable had the Roadrunner. 
oh, as you're right. their mascot. That's you true. Know, to promote cable, like fast mm-hmm. internet speed. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, or like McDonald's, like they use the Flintstones for the McRib. So what you're saying is that more than likely somebody got hit with that quick draw McGraw check and was yeah. like, this is too expensive. What if I just made, uh, if I just hired an animator to make a little horse that could sell my, my, my thing. And you know, after a few re- rewrites or, and, and redesigns, boom, now all of a sudden you have Tony the Tiger, which is yep, crazy yep. because now you're not, you're not only not paying for that, you have a, an original character that's making your, your product skyrocket, which is just so interesting to me. Um, Look at but, this. you know, think of, my bad, what were you saying? I was looking at uh, Yogi Bear on the Kellogg OKs. Mm-hmm. I forgot that blue dog's name. So, like, you're right, bro. The, the, the overall licensing for that must have been Huckleberry crazy Day. for yeah. those original characters. Hanna-Barbera, especially then, those guys ran cartoon characters. Right. Yeah. So, it's so like, yeah, no, sure. You're going to put them on the front of this, this uh, cereal box? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because you can see Co- uh, Cocoa Pebbles has the Flintstones. I wouldn't be surprised if Corn Flakes ha- had the first mascot ever, because that it looks like the first one. <laughs> that damn what? rooster. That yeah. never changed. Ugly ass rooster. It looks like the 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 original sketch for a mascot. <laughs> so like, I mean, the cereal's boring anyway, so might as well right. give it just a regular mascot. And it never evolved. They never mm. really did anything with that mascot. I mean, but you know, when it ain't broke, you don't fix it. You just change like a few little things, like the last, like from as a graphic designer standpoint, like you just change the curves just a little bit. You add a little bit of like shadow tones of color to their green and stuff. Same thing like uh, John Deere. John Deere has rarely changed their logo. Because they know that, you know, it, that they work in, you know, agriculture equipment and gardening. Mm-hmm. So it's like cornflakes is, you're not going to be able to make that fun. So why even try to make the cornflakes chicken, you know, surfing in a commercial. It's just like, you're not going to make corn flakes. (laughs) (laughs) You're just not going to. But I would say, you know, speaking of like all the vintage stuff, the reason I brought this up was because um, I was thinking about all of the most popular mascots and the ones that I've seen before, but you never really see anymore. And the the one that I was was trying to figure out who it is was, uh, it was Sugar Bear. And <laughs> Sugar from Golden Bear, Crisp, Sugar Bear, it was the the mascot from Golden Crisps, and I feel like Golden Crisps. I don't, I don't even, I don't even know if I've ever had a bowl, but it kind of like he was like the mascot that fell off the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> I had that cereal. Uh, a lot of people don't remember it. Was it what was it like, honey? It was, it was like a, I, I can't really even describe, but it did kind of have like this honey coated over, like I guess grain or something like that. It was like it was a not braggable cereal. Like that wasn't one of those like, yo, can you get like I've never had a big box of these. Like this was uh when I had these, they were in the variety pack, like the special edition variety pack. Hey, I'm uh, looking wait. at them, they look exactly like the the smacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All the difference oh. is they don't have them black dots at the top. Like wait, uh, one's Golden post, Christmas. one's catalog. They probably are the same exact thing. Oh, that they ain't even the, the same umbrella. Okay, there it is. The one just had the harder answer. Yeah. There it oh, is. well, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, Which wait, wait, wait. one? I, if you wouldn't mind, Kadeem, can you pull up post multi pack <laughs> cereal? All right. That may be that may be where I got confused because that that means that they had two different variety packs, a Kellogg and a post one. I was today years old when I thought to look at Kellogg's and Post as Marvel and DC. They have, <laughs> they have answers for each other. So I wonder like what the other Frosted Flakes is, what the other Pops is, you know what I mean? It's probably right. been with me this whole time. Well, that's why I was saying to pull up the multi-packs because they, they'll they show you exactly like what came in it. So like, these were like the multi-packs I had growing up. Oh my those. <laughs> Alpha Bits Brand okay. Flakes. Well, wait, can we get like a, a more modern one? This looks like it was hey, great nuts flakes. Come on, man. It's sold out of round two, bro. <laughs> this is elephants. This one you get a this one you get a food for less, dog. What you mean? This the food for less. No, yeah, oh, yeah, nineteen twenty. As far as the uh, I want to touch on this really quick. Pat had mentioned what was the first actual cereal mascot in nineteen thirty three. The first Kellogg's Rice Krispie cereal mascot was a gnome wearing a baker's hat. 
right? The cereal had been on the market since 1928, but Kellogg's wanted to personify the sound their crisp rice cereal made when milk was added, and they named the character Snap. So originally, it was just Snap on the cover. Oh my cereal. god. Oh, that they OGs. Them. So Snap went and put his boys on. And then in 1939, they added Crackle and Pop. So the first cereal box mascot is none other than Snap from the Rice Krispies, bro. That is Man. hilarious. That's hilarious. That means so, Snap was in the, 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 like the, the office with all his bosses, and he was like, guys, when when you add milk, it makes a couple other noises. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just a snap, you know. It's like a it's like a uh, what is, uh, 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 I got crackle. Some. You know, like a little crackle. You know, hey, yo, crackle. And, and then of course, you know, you when you pick it up, you want to feel uh, you you want to feel a pop. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a it's like wow. a snap, a crackle, and a pop. Bro, there was a, a campaign to win a bicycle. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, the shit that they put in cereals as prizes and things to win. Oh, so much great stuff. So we got to give a big shout out to my man Snap right there on the left side, the blonde hair holding up that big old ball of, of him. Bro, you made it. Down. You're the one that put Rice Krispies on. And so wait, you're saying what year was this in? Uh, this was in, uh, so they had him on the cover in 1928, right? Wow. But Kellogg's was like, they were like, trying to personify it and make it like, you know, who is this character? And they gave him a name, they gave him Snap. And then in uh, 19, it says here, 1939, uh, they added Crackle and Pop. I had no idea that cereal lore or cereal itself went this far back until... Yeah. Sugar Bear. <laughs> Are we ready for Sugar Bear? <laughs> to Sugar Bear, because this was somebody I researched because I was like, what happened to this guy? This guy was the, this guy like fell off the face of the mascot planet. And now he is my favorite. <laughs> Are we ready for Sugar Bear? <laughs> and I oh, wanted to find the bowl because of a commercial that I found. And it was like, it's like a vintage Sugar Bear, Golden Crisp commercial. And immediately I was like, this, Art looks like it was made, you know, next to Felix the Cat. Like it looks so old. I had no idea that cereal commercials went this far back. And not to mention the jingle that he's singing while doing a full <laughs> robbery of this poor woman. He doing um, a B and E. He doing he is, a B &E. This, is a, this is a very interesting commercial. So just not only enjoy the song that he's singing, just watch what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. I'm Granny Goodwitch, the only human in the forest. Ready not, Granny, here I come. I heard that. It's Sugar Bear, and he's after my Sugar Crisp again. I can't get enough of that Sugar Crisp, Sugar Crisp, Sugar Crisp. Oh, he's coming. Where'll I hide my post Sugar Crisp? It's a honey of a snack, you know. Better slow him up with my magic. I can't get enough of that Sugar Crisp. It keeps me going strong. He's the strongest bear I've ever known. Gotta hide my post sugar crisp. Here's a safe place. Sugar bear, honey, it's nice to see ya. Sure knows how to start his day a little bit better. You bet your booties, Granny. It's sugar sweet and honey flavored wheat, so it keeps me going strong. Thanks, Granny. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. He could have gotten sugar crisp in post tens, too. Post tens has all the cereals kids want. Oh my God! Okay, lot to wow. unpack. Lot so, to unpack. So let's 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 just let's break this out a little bit. So there's a witch that's living by herself in the forest. Made it a point to say I am the only human in the human. forest. Yes. So so we can assure that. Um, apparently knows sugar bears. So <laughs> this is not the he first. He comes every time. day. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'd been around a few times. Yeah, and um, <laughs> apparently <laughs> Sugar Bear is dumb strong. Wait, go back a little bit, because before he got to the house, he was just ripping up stuff. Tree trunks. <laughs> and just a whole tree One trunk hand. And threw it. <laughs> just fucking shit. And then just swung on the vine You're for right. no reason. <laughs> so, um, so we have that. Um, this witch turns this into a castle. He break. Can we just stop right there and watch how a, a bear yanks an entire gate 
and makes it into a ladder around like, the whole thing. Climbed <laughs> up. She knows he's coming every morning, but is still scared and trying different things to keep him away. But then at the end of the day, he's just like, "All right, fine, you know, just take the, just take the cereal." <laughs> she was like, "Hi, she was like, hi, sugar bear." Not working. It's he like, broke through yeah. the wall, and she said, "Oh, hi, sugar bear." She was happy to see him. I'm and so eight. it's so good to see you, and he's like, "Shut up, bitch." <laughs> he doesn't say a thing. This whole scene, he said, says nothing. Right. <laughs> like, other than uh, other than you bet your booty and took you his bet your booty, <laughs> Granny. Just play from the play from the him breaking in to just you bet your booties. He says nothing. He's just like yeah, I've ever known. Gotta hide my post sugar, Chris. Here's a safe place. Sugar bear, honey, it's nice to see ya. You know how to start his day a little bit better. You bet your booties, Granny. Bet it's booties, sugar sweet and honey flavored wheat, so it keeps me going strong. Thanks, oh. Granny. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. You could have gotten sugar crisp in post Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. <laughs> get you some post tens. Wow, bro. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite thing ever. It's oh, so my God. <laughs> how did this happen? Shout out to Granny, bro. Yo, but like, just think about like how, how you just said, Pat, like all of these iconic characters that we know that like fell off. Like, just from like Kadeem scrolling and I saw like the seven up dot. And I remember how big the seven up dot was like the bumper sticker, the little thing that hung on uh, the dashboard, even the uh, big ass like sign across the 18 wheels. I remember that thing had a video game. The seven up one? Yeah. yeah it was it's, fire. You know, here's a good, no, here's a, a dope ass video game actually. It His video, was fire. He has a good, he has, just, he has a good video game. And Seven Up just like said, "Yo, we're gonna put you between Seven and Up, and then call it a day." They didn't even bump him for another mascot. They just actually made him a dot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it. They just memorialized him pretty much. They put him as a memorial figure in the middle of the goddamn icons. That's why the '90s was was special because I feel like it was everything was almost like for kids. Everything yeah. was like ridiculous, yeah. you know. Everything was. So there's slime everywhere and like you know everything was surfing and skating and and it's crazy because it's like i was just realizing this because um the last few times i went to vegas um it's 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 weird like all the every all the popular hotels on the strip are just becoming like hotels like no theme when i was growing up in the 90s there was a hotel where you can get a, a wooden sword and shield and see knights and then there was one where you would see like you know uh ancient greece and then there was you know what i mean like it was yeah. literally like themes, but now they're getting away from it. And it's just like, this one is modern. And then this one is just, the theme is nice. And then this one yeah. is clean. It's so, the design of the building now. That yeah, it's, it's like kids know. have, like kids have no imagination playground, you know? And, and it's, it's, it's just kind of, it's just kind of crazy how that goes with everything down to toys and cartoons and just everything is sort of changed for this more mature kid with apps and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, fell I mean, fellas, sure. if you if you want to go down, yeah, that's exactly what I'm actually about to pull up right now. Yeah. Exactly what you just sent me, bro. Is exactly what I already had up. So, if you want to go down this rabbit hole a little bit more, we have a guide to oh. failed cereal mascots. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's oh. do this. Connect. They got some stuff oh. in there, boy. Uh, listen, uh, you know geez. Uh, well, well, give give me a, give me a second. Well, give me just one moment, sirs. Um, I gotta get prepared for that. Another talent. We I, see. We see, of course, that clown that we. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see that clown later. Later on, we're gonna show this where exactly are, that box is. Oh my god, that fucking clown, bro. I hope that these clown. are like reimaginings of these things and not actual art. Remember, uh, Sunny. Uh, remember, Sunny Jim. I will actually. Neither art. do we. Neither Sunny do we. Jim? Sunny Jim. <laughs> Sunny Jim. Um, Sunny Jim. You bet your Sunny Jim. Lowly Jim Dumps. Oh, oh Jim. my lord. Oh my god. What is that? That's not real. <laughs> can you pull, can you can you make a tab, uh, Kadeem, with the actual cereal? Absolutely. Uh, uh, images. Absolutely. Like you said, I think these are just reimaginings. Yeah. So one of the earliest faces slapped on a cereal box was Sunny Jim for the authoritarian sounding force a wheat flake cereal the cereal was called force that is <laughs> terrible sunny jim started out as lowly jim dumps 
who was magically transformed by his encounter with force as documented in this jingle. Now, I don't blame them because it probably took trial and error, but we were just talking about this before. When it comes to cereal, humans are not the move. The only one who got close was Lucky, who was a leprechaun. Yeah. And Fred Flintstone, who was a proven character on something else. Humans, especially photograph real humans. Oh, never. never. <laughs> I, I never. don't never. like his story. Like, first of all, why is the serial name Force? Like, force. what are you trying to force? Like, what do you, I don't, I don't, don't, don't force me into nothing. When and you what see- was this made? I'm, I'm pulling it up right now. This oh. serial, I don't like how his hat just is a label that says Sunny Jim. Yeah, what, I'm is pull- it, what is in the back? Like that, it don't go with the collar. It don't look like it goes. That's with the his, that's. Hold on, here we go. Here. This what is, is the... here's Sunny Jim right here. This 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 this, this is what the cereal actually looked like. This is this is what we were. <laughs> that actually looks a lot better. I, I'm, that was on. a ponytail. Go yeah. back. Wait wait wait. Go back to the old yes. the other guy. All right, it don't go. even match, bro. His hair don't match, bro. I actually like this a lot better. Um, I, I don't fit. I don't like That's this. Like, okay. Wow. Okay. All right. So let's, I'm looking okay. into some of the things that they gave away to certain kids during that time. So two things I do like. They had a, a like a stuffed, like a plush doll that they would send to kids if they did the whole uh, box top cutting and sending it in thing. But a spoon. But do you guys remember the spoons we would get in our cereal boxes? They were plastic, and if you put it in milk, it would change the color of the spoon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fire. Dope. For sure. But the Sunny Jim spoon was an actual silver spoon with the Sunny Jim logo, like, in the dip of the spoon. I think that's that's pretty fire. fire. That's fire. So you talking about this? This? You think this is dope? No, 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 no. Not that. Not that. Let me show you. Hold hold on. Hold on. Do you want this is dope? Ew. Oh, oh no, why did it make my screen full? No, get this away from me. That's scary. <laughs> no. I'm talking about this one. Did you guys see this one like I can show you guys or no? I see it. I see it. Oh, I don't, I first of all, I hate funny. the nails of the, the person's nails in the photo. Okay. Secondly, <laughs> that, that looks like a, it looks like a haunted antique. That looks like what you find <laughs> in your great grandparents Baudway or some shit you can't. <laughs> but this was that time, though, Pat. This was that time, though. Huh? I said, but this was that time. Like this was the thing. Like, oh yeah, know? I'm like looking back at it <laughs> like that. Yeah. Sunny like Jim Force. It just, Oof. oh my god, it sounds like something to vil- like a villain special attack in an anime. I wonder anime. what their marketing was though, because it says like there's a coin that they gave away too. It said Force, bring back prosperity. And you look on the other side of the coin, it said good luck and good health. Forget the times are tough and grim. Cheer up and smile with Sunny Jim. Yeah, I don't get the yeah, I don't get the angle. It's like happiness, but I don't yeah. understand the correlation between Sunny Jim and Force. It's like yeah. you force and happiness. Force a smile. That's what it's pretty much trying to tell yeah. the kid. Hey, so he's like secretly unhappy, like, hey, eat force. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's fight right, to the Great Depression, bro. This is it's this Great Depression time. Right? Could be. Could be. This is probably Great Depression time. Well, how about we got next? Here he is. The legend. Damn it. Skip. Cliffy? <laughs> Sugar Smacks. Oh my God, bro. And his no, side got... <laughs> Okay, in 1949, ABC launched the TV show Super Circus, starring Cliffy the Clown and his sidekick Scampy and Nikki. When the puffed wheat cereal Sugar Smacks launched in 1953, Cliffy became its official mascot, appearing on the box and in commercials. Okay, so the clowns we were looking at earlier was from a dude... It, it, a TV is, show, a real TV show. He would be replaced as the official spokesperson in 1956 by the cartoon seal Smaxy, who in the <laughs> turmoil of 1960s would be replaced for brief stints by Quick Draw McGraw, mm. the Smackin' Bandit, the Smackin' Brothers, until di- the Diggum Frog took over Dig- in 1970. Mm, I forgot that I, name. Yeah, that's Dig- a terrible name. Now, can that. we pause right there because, yes. This is way worse than the animation we just saw. <laughs> <laughs> this was for children? And it's large size. So imagine how big that box was, Pat. Bro. It's sitting at the top of your fridge and you go to the kitchen and try to get some food. <laughs> at 3 o'clock in the morning. Bro. Oh. That would scare the hell out of hey, me. Hey, and remember, we black, so... It was not a good time for us back then. That dim-ass yellow light in your kitchen? 
And, and that's just that? to be shining at the top of the damn refrigerator, and you see that? Oh, uh, just imagine if the light was swinging, and you—that's all you seeing is them sugar snacks. Why was his head so long? Oh, I don't know. That's, that's a hard pass for me, fellas. Oh, this should just make me feel. Uh. Let me go back to this one. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just. Oh, we'll wait, just... can we, can we see the cartoon seal Smaxy? <laughs> look up Smaxy. Look up Smaxy. Please look up Smaxy, please. Okay, I, I see the spelling. Okay, let's look up Smaxy. Smaxy the Seal. And also the, the Smackin' Bandit and the Smackin' Brothers. I like the Smackin' Bandit and Smackin' Brothers. I like that. Here, here's here's Smaxy. Okay. I like him! I'm not bad Smaxie. at that one. Why was there turmoil behind him? Yeah, it does uh, say turmoil, right? They said it was turmoil and they had to replace him. Let's look at let's look up what happened to Smaxy. What Smaxie. happened? What to happened Smaxie? to Smaxy, man? Free my boy Smaxy. Wait, Cal he was. Uh, how do you spell this? S M S M A X E Y. Smaxy. Smaxy. Can't get enough. Get some Smaxy. Say yeah, yeah. See Smaxy. Oh. He probably wouldn't have a wiki himself. He's probably in the, the Smacks one here. Well, why are we trying to figure Click that out? Here, Found it? Oh, no. It's just marketing history. Okay. Why, why aren't they saying why? Why they changed it? And for those that's listening to the audio version, um, Smaxy is a dolphin, kind of uh, with the whole kind of like... Uh, He's a seal. He's seal. A, seal. Oh, a seal? Oh, I'm sorry. He's a seal. My fault. Apologies. He's a seal kind of dressed up in like the attire of like what folks wear around the ocean and, sh and the beach and stuff with the little stripes and everything. I don't, they said turmoil, which makes me so interested, but there's no, not a lot of articles on it. So it said who in the turmoil of the 1960s would be replaced for brief stints by uh, Quick Draw McGraw. So that, that to me, that could mean anything uh, with turmoil um, with the cereal company. So they, yeah. needed, they needed to boost it. Or it could have been something where maybe... The, I don't know, maybe environmentally, like seals were like, you know, because in the 60s and 70s, there was a whole like thing with whales and seals. So who knows? But they got him up out of here. Do we know what the Smackin' Bandit or the Smackin' Brothers look like? Can we pull I'm, that up? I'm pulling them up right now. And I don't know. I don't know who or which one this is, but here we go. Who, I don't know who this is. Who? Wally the what? I don't know who, who? this is. Well, I'm, I'm assuming he's not the Smackin' Brothers. Wally the Bear. That's his name. It's, that's a but, bear. Oh, now it's more honey, though. Oh, Wait. my. I can see the Smackin' Brothers right here. I'm going to send you guys. I'm sending a link for you to check out. All right, cool. Whoa. Um, can Smack we... had no idea what they wanted to do. <laughs> There's another uh, Sugar Smacks cereal box cover that's even creepier than the one that we looked at. Oh, I know. Are we, are we doing this? Are we doing this? You, you talking about this? See. Are you talking about this one? No, we saw that one earlier. There's another one. It's still pretty. That link I just sent you. This is awesome. This is still pretty bad. This is creepy. Yeah. Is it? Are they trying to scare the kids? Yeah. <laughs> and there's like stain. There's like blood stains on the box. Like what the hell? I don't understand why. Like, what? What made folks think that? Like, and I say this with the like ut with the utmost disrespect. What made them think like hiring fat, saggy? Fat people as clowns was the way to go. Like, well, what what state was entertainment in where clowns even became a thing? Even yeah, as a child, I never got the appeal. I don't get the paint. I don't get the the red nose. I guess is iconic just because it's popular. But I don't care about any of it. It's so silly. No. Here we go. Here's here's a lineup of them. Here we go. Look at that. Uh, look at that one on the left. Smacking, uh, he looks like he's watching you eat the cereal. Like, ooh, what that mm -hmm. mouth do, little kid? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God, Pat, come on, bro. <laughs> I like me. the way I like the way you smack sugar. Mm. Uh, hey, Wally is low key the trashest one out of all of these. The smack Why brothers is he sitting like that. Stupid. The smack like brothers are terrible. Diggum is probably their best one out of all of it. Diggum is cool. I like Smaxy too, though. Smaxy, yeah, Smaxy was cool. I don't know why, you know, we don't know what happened with Smaxy, but you know, for some reason, you know, they yeah, threw him back in the ocean, hopefully. So, so can you 
scroll up just a little bit. I want everyone to know that Tony the Tiger is married. What? There it is. Tony Miss the Tiger. Tony. Miss Tony and his wife of Tony the Tiger, 1971. This man been locked down, ride or dying for Miss Tony since 1971. Wow. Shout out uh, to uh, the Tony family. And he has a mom. Yes, okay. he does. And if you go okay, up, we gotta little definitely little. go deep in, into the lore of Tony. He got a kid. Got Tony kids. Jr. Tony Jr. And also, okay, we gotta go into Frosted Flakes now, cause Katie the Kangaroo. 1950s minute print for the best print. Oh. <laughs> but lost the permanent position of Tony the Tiger. George Reeves appears as Clark Kent in the early 1950s TV commercial featuring Katie the Kangaroo on the box of Frosted Flakes. Uh, she, so oh, just lost so, so she so they, showed up. So she, Katie showed up to the thing, and then Tony was just actually there, like, so uh, <laughs> right. You're like, what's going God. on, guys? I just, I they just did our thing with uh, Clark Kent for Superman. It's going great. What's with this tiger? Katie, can we talk to you for a minute? Like, well, no. According to the Wikipedia, it says Tony the Tiger has been the mascot of Frosted Flakes since the introduction. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's saying this made an appearance, but it lost the permanent position. So this basically was happening at the same time. So they tested this and it didn't work and immediately went ahead and went with Tony. Just give it to the tiger. Yeah, so that's why Kadeem was saying it was like, oh yeah, she showed up to set and they were like, oh no, we're moving forward with the tiger. Yeah. I, the, huh. I, I just wanted to show everyone like the first, just to run it back to Snap, Crackle, and Pop really quick. We didn't get a chance to see what the first gnome actually looked like. They do have it on this page. If you go all the way to the top, Kadeem, you'll right. see the very first uh, design of the gnome for Rice Krispies at the very top. Yo, y'all yeah. think y'all think the kangaroo had the kid with her when they when she got fired? Oh, damn! Oh, that's right. <laughs> Go in your pouch, baby. There it is, on the left. That was the Whoa! first. Look at your boy Snap from Does 1937. Does he have just one arm? They no, crack. It's, it's behind it's, his back. Oh, okay. Cracks really creepy. and cream. What does that mean? No, crack and cream. They, they crackle, crackle and cream. cream. Oh, they crackle and cream. Oh, that's so what they call milk. That's what they used to call milk. Creepy. Yeah. They're worse. What? Creepy. This is news to me. They used to call milk cream? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, why? Because, I mean, how thick, I mean, you got to think about when they were, how they're getting this milk. This is literally right off, like, ain't no pasteurizing going on. They, they ain't, mm -mm. got to think about That's it. That's why you had milkmen to drop milk shit off. Exactly. Right. You had to drink it that like, day. Let's just think the milk was real chunky like back in the day. Let's just, let's just say that. Milk was uh, thick. Milk was uh, thick. Milk was, bitch. It was like thick. Whole but I, milk, but whole milk. Mm. So it was like it was like pudding. Yeah, it was <laughs> a lot more creamy for sure. It was creamy. Because you look at look at the bowl. I've never seen cereal <laughs> sit. <laughs> <laughs> never seen it sit like that. It looks like how how granola sits on yogurt. <laughs> this was a parfait back then. <laughs> <laughs> they you, were just scoop, you just scoop like this and ate. <laughs> That's why I Snap was first because it was horrifying noises. The crackle oh. and the pop didn't go until it was liquid. <laughs> until they until they start getting down to low to two percent. When they got to start getting two percent in, they're like, oh, okay, cool. Now now we can get a crackle and pop. Now I'm hearing that crackle and that pop now. And then they're like, yeah, cool. Then they made them cool. I'm assuming this was like 80s, 90s. Yeah, I feel of like this they kids. I always they like kids. my man with the general fit on. My man with the red on the right. Ain't that, I like that. Uh, crack oh, that was cool. I like that. Man, that's wild. That's that's that that is insane. And it, you <laughs> can tell you could tell by that first um that first logo that they they did not have a good gauge of creepy because between that first these first few and and these clowns they had no idea what was. Horrifying. Yeah, yeah, these this clown. I'm going back to this clown real quick. Look, look at this. Like, <laughs> that's not yo. Yeah, like, why? Like, why? who was the person giving that like green like that? Like, who was it? Why? Man, look, I just, I, I you know what? That's what I would. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. That's what I would use a time machine for. Moments in history when stuff like this happened. Like, when was it? They were like, yo, paint. Red nose, aka ass, let's get it. I want to be there when that happened. Ugh. Who else? Who well, else got on the failed list? Um, yeah, we go back to the failed list. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get back to that failed. 
Let's Wait, get back to Cliffy? Cliffy the Clown. Cliffy the Clown was was that man. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll. Keep scrolling down. We have the most useful protein. Is this death? I mean, obviously. Bad. When Life Cereal launched in 1961, it was pitched as a healthy breakfast cereal option with breathless tagline. The most useful protein ever in a ready-to-eat cereal. The protein was presented as an actual cartoon protein, a cheerful white droplet equipped with a Quaker hat. The protein was axed by 1967 as um, life took a different marketing direction, but it wouldn't be until 1972 that uh, Mikey liked life. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there is a, a yeah. specific kid for, for life. Mm -hmm. Be like I, Mike. Was, I want to be like Mike. So the original mascot was literally a protein with a Quaker hat, a little bit of hair, and a heart right here, who was who was talking about his own mortality. I I, I got saw, him. I got I him right here. Like, I saw like Mikey will eat it much better. Wow. I got oh, him. Mikey will eat it. This was him. That's crazy. I, I designed a cartoon character that had a little heart right there too. So I do like that. I do like that part, but I don't I don't hate this. It's 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 like this is like the rough draft. It was like if someone was like, yo, could we do a different option with the hat or something else? The hat this could have worked. The hat is weird. I'm I'm not even gonna hold you. The hat, the Quaker hat is, is weird, and the eyes are what is creeping me out. I need a redesign on the eyes. I wouldn't have greenlit those eyes, bro. Is this, I'm a, okay is, with an the actual, eyes. is this an actual cereal box cover, or is this just art? Uh, It looks like this is an ad, actually. It's yeah, an I ad. It's, cut these out. That's a is there, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. is, there, is there a cereal box with him on it? Uh, Let me check. Because he has a name, right? What's his name? Protein. 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 <laughs> Because I think he's on the back like these and then that life is on the front. Because I always yeah. remember just being life on the front until like Mikey got there. Yeah, so, so, it's, so he's, he's literally with just a mascot running around on ad or magazine uh, campaigns and stuff like that. Oh, for, but for, the cereal box was right there. Yeah, cereal yeah, box yeah. Just, like, just, just looked like that. Okay, so life kind of always knew what they were doing. They knew they always they kept those same colors in the in the in the logo. And they were just always like, this is straight up the cereal. They kind of used the mascot as just promo, which is actually kinda, pretty. Yeah, it kind of looks like when you get a flyer and you kind of bored at school and you start like drawing characters in it. And right. then they drew this. And they were like, you know what? Yeah. Keep doing this. Right. All right, what's the, what's the next uh, failed? Failed person on this damn list. This is crazy to know, bro. <laughs> how were they doing like market research back then? That, like how? You couldn't know. Like, you really couldn't know. You didn't... Booperoos! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. No fucking way. <laughs> In the 1970, in the 1974, a blue kangaroo with sunglasses and a stand-up bass shield a blue cereal called Oops Booperoos, a phrase <laughs> trademarked by Nabisco. Shortened to Booperoos, his jingle went like this. Please find that jingle. Please oh, find that jingle. Uh, I'm the blue kangaroo. How do you do? Got two new. I can't see that. You got to see. Yeah, let me zoom in for you, but hold on real quick. Please tell me you got the real kangaroo. Way. How do you do? <laughs> I got two All new kangaroos. Oops, ba doo boo boos. Fruit like the oop boos and Chris sugar tubes with the vitamin and that orange you hide knees there too. New oops, boop roos. Cereal for oh no biscuit. Nick, please find this song. I please find this. Song. I, I, I want to hear it because I feel like it's gonna be racist. I ha it, it, it has to be. <laughs> In 1970, a blue. Nah, this might be hella jazzed out. Y'all never know. This might got some funk to it. Yeah, let me find. I'm gonna go find that right now. Hold on. Right. Nope. Knowing the type of people who was probably running cereal companies at this, they probably tried to appeal without really doing the research, and that always leads to very, very racist jingles. <laughs> on cusp. It's like, here, hire this white person to imitate this other whatever, 
as closely as possible, and it never works out. Never. It never works out. Fun fight. fact, really quick, while Kadeem pulls that up. The Pillsbury's Doughboy's name isn't the Pillsbury Doughboy? No. What is it? Well, I don't know his real name, but I, I, was, I, I forgot what they called it. His name is Poppin' Fresh. That's why I forgot it. I remember that that's why I forgot Poppin it. Poppin' Fresh has a wife named Poppy. Yep. His dad, Grand Popper. And his mom is Grand Mommer. Poppin' Fresh is the Pillsbury Doughboy's name. I had no clue. Wow. No, so is, is he the original, right? I don't think he's the original, is he? Uh, according to this, he's the original. I thought the Pillsbury Doughboy was like a little boy. No, this says it's him. Pillsbury. Okay. This is, this is, okay, we need to get down. I need to know all these niggas' names. <laughs> <laughs> one by one, because I had a similar moment when they told me that the Captain Crunch dude's name is Horatio Magellan. Mm -hmm. they, ha they actually have a full name. Horatio mm -hmm. M. Magellan is the Captain Crunch name. Barbie so has a whole know, name. I need to know the names and profiles of <coughs> all of these people. We're going to go, what is Toucan Sam's real name? Does he have, has, has he been to prison? Uh, <laughs> you need a background check on these guys? <laughs> you need all his blood type too while we at it? <laughs> Background checks on all these mascots, please. Let's see. Thanks for serial mascots. Let's see what we got. That's freaking Horatio is his name? Horatio. Yeah. Okay, what's the Trix Rabbit's name? Because I know he ain't the Trix Rabbit. What is the name of the trick? Trix the Trix Rabbit. Okay, his his name is actually Trix. Alright, you can go. You can go. <laughs> Uh, Lucky, I'm assuming that's. I just found a five minute video of uh, all of vintage uh, cereal commercials, but Booparoo did not, did not oh, make an appearance there. Lucky Charm does have other names. He also goes by Sir Charms or LC Leprechaun. That LC is his formal name. Charms. That just means Lucky Charms Le Leprechaun. Uh, LC Leprechaun. Yo, so do y'all know who Bartholomew Richard Fitzgerald Smythe is? Shut up. Who? Oh. Say it again. Wait, wait. Say it again. Bartholomew Richard Fitzgerald Smythe. If you tell me that's the Cheerios B, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I would be so pissed. And it, no, no. Luckily, it is not a cereal. It was just I saw the name and had to say it out loud. That is the Plan Planters Peanuts character's name. No wow. way, Mr. Oh. Planters' name is Bartholomew Richard Fitzgerald Smythe. That's fantastic. That's What's the Monopoly like, guy's name? That's a okay. Co question. The Cocoa Puffs guy's name Sunny. Okay, that checks out. Oh, yep. uh, Honey Honey Nut Cheerios is Busby. His real name is Busby. what? Buzz I didn't know. That. Buzzbee. Buzz yeah, Buzzbee or Buzz for short. Like all one word, Buzzbee yeah, or like Buzzbee Buzz is Bee. one word. Yeah, Buzzbee is one word. Oh, well, this is okay. Wow, Monopoly dude's name, Rich Uncle Pennybags. Did you guys know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is that. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know that. Rich Whoa. Uncle Pennybags. Another fun fact about Buzzbee. Buzzbee um, actually got his name from a uh a, um a child named uh Christine Tong. You know we're talk the one thing that we haven't touched on yet live action mascot wise humans for cereal what? is um King Vitamin. Oh, fuck King Vitamin. We totally have glanced over King Vitamin. Please can we That's please You can't use humans. You just can't. Can we please gl continue to glance over him? It was a it was a wizard at first, and then it was an actual photograph of a human, right? Yes. Okay, I gotta find this out. I gotta find out all of these. I'm sick of not knowing. <laughs> it feels like we just like opened up a childhood memory, and it's like, were they all lies? We must know. Frankenberry trash, uh, chalk count chocolate trash. Uh, what's the blue? What's the the ghost one of the crew? Um, Booberry. Booberry. And then Frankenberry. 
Hate it. Okay, so uh, it, Cookie Crisp. There was a Cookie Crook. Mm -hmm. um, Chip the dog. I mm -hmm. actually didn't know that. No Chip. Um, and then he and his master were foiled by the Cookie Cop. And then I guess they were uh, they they booted those for the wolf. And I don't know what the wolf's name is. Yo, do y'all remember the uh, Crazy Craving uh, Honeycomb? Oh yeah, what was his name? That was it, Crazy Craving. Crazy was Craving? He like, was he like Harry or something yeah, like that? Yeah, he was like- I remember that shit. guy. Yeah. Hell yeah, he, I remember that commercial. It just the cereal wasn't good. It, 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 was, it was not, like you had a good like two minutes to enjoy that cereal. Cause once it got soggy, that was a wrap. All right, here's one I never actually knew. Whoa! <laughs> Hilarious! Okay, y'all ready for this? Yeah, that's what it is. The three mascots of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the three chefs, are Bob, Quello, and Wendell. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Each of the three mascots are bakers of different ages and experience levels. That is fantastic. Bro, Wendell is what is what they Wendell. <laughs> I guess Wendell was the main dude. He had two co-workers in the bakery named Bob and Quello. And then they disappeared from all Cinnamon Toast Crunch, uh, Crunch commercials and cereal boxes. Fans jokingly speculated that Wendell was jealous of his co-workers' youth and buffer bodies. So he drowned them in a cinnamon swirl river. <laughs> what the hell? There's fan theories and fan lore. That is intense. So he got fired? I... Here we go. I'm about to pull up a picture of them. Because that is... That's well, a lot. Shit. Uh, uh, but like, not... Uh, I want to see that, but also too, just from what I pulled up. Uh, remember Sonny from Cocoa Puffs? Mm-hmm. I forgot that was his name. Here we go. This is this is this is what we're talking about right here. This, this yeah, is... I know the guy in the middle more than anything. Yeah, he's right. the one that, that, he's the one that... That's your yeah. boy Wendell. It says <laughs> the names of the two. Um, at, 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 at first it was just Wendell. Um, it says the mascots were not initially named, but with the lead baker only having the name of Wendell invented by the company in 1991. The other two bakers did not get a name. Instead, these mascots were coined names, uh, consumers, and fans. Uh, the, the names of the two other mascots were eventually called Bob and Quello. Bob was the youngest of the Cinnamon Toast Bakers and the least experienced. Quello, on the other hand, was slightly older as well as taller, and he was Wendell's second in command. These three mascots served as uh, professional uh, promotional icons for the cereal and helped garner fan. Blah, 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 blah. That's intense. They so thought that they drunk, they drowned him. So Wendell got mad because he, he they was cutting in on his check. Like, how dare you motherfuckers get, y'all gonna get names? I built this shit. I wonder I'm gonna if... show you a picture right here and then um, you let me know how you feel about Wendell after this. This 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 is the picture that, that kind of just, look at, the, look at his eyes. Look at these eyes and you tell me. Oh, he did that. <laughs> oh, he did that. Wendell did that. Oh my God. Oh Wendell. God, please change this. Holy shit, please change this. Okay, oh. so let me bring, bring this up, Kadeen, because I was just about to talk about what I just found as far as cereal box psychology. So it turns out, I just sent you a link in if you can pull it up. They, they figured out that children, when in the store with their parents, connected with certain characters on cereal boxes if they were making eye contact. So depending on the average uh, height of where the kid would be standing at, they would adjust the boxes uh, so that the characters were looking at the kids in their eyes if they're looking down at them. Oh, so their eye, their eyes would be pointed down. Mm -hmm. Exactly to um, like make that connection. That's between very these. interesting. You guys, Here. I actually, um, there's a whole part of psychology that Here is the grocery store. It's really, really interesting. Whoa, interesting! Wow, that's crazy. I never knew that, but that's really look dope. into that because if you look into the psychology of just grocery stores, I didn't know it. It got as deep as to where they were looking, 
but like you'll notice that reds and yellows are are colors that are very really really prominent with selling things and there are um definitely um there's a there's a really interesting psychology to placement of everything mm -hmm. like all of the the main brands are eye level and then everything a little bit less expensive you kind of have to look down and, and bend down but the most interesting thing is that they put all of the essential things like cheese and milk and the stuff that people really, really needed to go to the grocery store for originally in the back so that you had to walk through these colorful aisles of all of these things that could potentially uh, go into the, the basket on the way to the thing you might just needed, uh, you know, back in the day, you might have just needed a thing of milk and cheese, you know, and then you end up leaving with like 10 things. So like right. it's so crazy how deep the psychology of all of what you're talking about goes because no. it goes deeper than just where they're looking. But I didn't. No, even... uh, yeah, that's and those two things with that too is that's why they put frozen um, along the wall because they want that to make the last thing that you go get because you're supposed to get your cold items last. Mm -hmm. And so they'll make uh, and that's why there's also a psychology to the lights that they use in a different uh, like type of uh, whites and wattage that they use because it's supposed to new it's supposed to neutralize you back down to complete your shopping experience after you've been bombarded with all these colors and brains and stuff. Got you. No. Are the cinnamon toast crunch guy and the uh, um, Captain Crunch guy? French toast. French toast crunch and and cinnamon toast crunch. That's the same That's, that's the that, same right? company. That's window, yeah. right? Yeah, there's a was he of, was he on there? I thought it was a little cinnamon toast crunch guy, like the actual thing. Crazy, they're called cr crazy squares. <laughs> now, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, they did change it to the crazy squares. They eat each other. I know that one. Yeah, and then I think the French toast crunch had the uh, the same thing. I think they were like a little character That's made crazy. of the French toast. Who else are we missing? Who didn't we go over? Uh, let's see. We got pops didn't have anything. Who killed me with the Captain Crunch actual name? Horatio. You didn't know that. Horatio is hilarious. Like, why, why of all names is it Horatio? It, Captain Horatio Magellan. It really makes no sense. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else it could be. We got Dig Digum. The hey, yeah, Smacks. Uh, uh, Apple Jacks. Didn't they, didn't they just get a character? They had a character before that. They had the Jamaican character before that. They no. did have the cinnamon stick. The cinnamon stick. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm finding them. <laughs> I'm finding all of these out on this episode. All right. I don't know what made me search this, but the Kellogg Cornflake Rooster has a name. Oh, no. Are y'all ready? It's the most <laughs> racist fucking name. I know it is. No, no, no. It's not racist. Okay. It's just dumb. His name is literally Cornelius, quotes, Corny Rooster. His name is Cornelius Rooster with the nickname Corny. Corny. That cereal was never gonna make it. <laughs> Cornelius? That cereal is never gonna, like it's never gonna be big time and it knows it. It knows exactly where it's staying. It knows, it, it just, if you just don't want the frills, the sugar, if you just want to eat cereal, just flakes. No sugar, just wheat flakes. Then come it's, to Corny. Come to Corny. Uh, Sunny is the sun in Raisin Bran. Yep. Oh, uh, I remember Raisin Bran too. Also had the singing uh, raisins that uh, remember the uh, claymation oh, raisins. Yeah. They had them as uh, mascots at one point too. I hated that because it was a clay. Mm -hmm. I hated those commercials. Yeah. Ah, Count Chocula. I knew there was something hidden in there. Alfred Chocula. Nice. Ew. Yeah, you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even like Count Chocolate would be like, what's your real name? Alfred. Alfred. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I get right. it. You just what was, have you ever seen the Family Guy episode where Brian is auditioning for the mascot of uh, Fruit Loops and he's sitting next to Toucan Sam? Follow your nose. Follow your follow nose. <laughs> Toucan Sam's running the lines. He's like, follow your nose. Follow your nose. Hey, how's this coming off to you? He was like, I mean, you can try doing it better. It's like a really weird, uh, like what it's like to be in an audition. And I, you guys should go check that episode out. That shit was really funny to oh, me as a kid. That's that shit is hilarious. Uh, I guess uh, what Frosted Mini Weeks too is kind of like uh, had their own. Who else? I'm looking at I'm looking at like a a whole like like photos of all the cereal things. I think we went through all of them but one. 
But just this last one, let me see if he has a crazy name. There's a guy who I follow, man, who's been working on this, uh, this game for a couple of years now. He is working on a serial mascot fighting video game. Oh, is that I, the... Um, I want to get this out of the way real quick. I'm sorry? I just want to get this, get this guy in here real quick. Get oh. on Get on Chaco. Oh. It looks like he got chicken pox. It does. Like, I feel like this is like, like when they tell you like what chicken pox are, these are the like characters they use. Like this is the mucus. Whoa, wait, wait, can you, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got to read the freakies. Between 72 and 76, a band of sentient growths known as the freakies. Growths, I'm out already. Loomed over the breakfast cereal landscape. Boss Moss, Cow Mumble, Gargle, Goody Goody, Ham Hose, and Snorkel Dork <laughs> Ham <hose>. were on <laughs> a quest aboard the ship. Their freaky flower, the freaky, the freaky flower to reach the freaky tree where they would be able to eat unlimited freaky cereals, a puffed uh, sugar puffs. Thankfully, all attempts to revive this cereal have failed. That backstory yeah. is trash for something that you're Keep supposed it. to be eating. Keep it. We don't want those. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta, wait, I gotta see what the cereal <laughs> looks like. I, I'm about to pull it up right now, too. That is, I'm gonna, it's awful. Could be. Hmm. Please remember that. Hamos. 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 Snorkeldorf is what got me. Hamos in it for me. I was no. like, you know what? Okay, if I was a kid and at, during this time, I would not buy this. However, Never. as an adult, I would absolutely buy this. You'd buy it if it looked like this. Look at this. It's really tight. Wait, wait, wait. Show them, show them, the, uh, show them the space one, too. Space this looks like, like an early like mock-up of what Rick and Morty became. Dead Bro, ass. these are like, it, they look like computer games. Okay, I, I need these. Okay, don't, yeah, see, the upgrade looks better with the Reese's I cover. I don't know if I'd eat them. I just really, really like the covers. I don't like that they're growths. Once you have your mascot is a growth, it's like, growth what, are you, what, what? Are you, what are you trying to sell me right now? <laughs> right, like, what's going on here? It's, it's, yeah, I'm, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about the, the lore of this one, but I do really, really like the art style. It, it's really giving me PC. It old. reminds me of ca uh, Garbage Pail Kids. Yeah, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. The yeah. font too. It was like those early, like kind of like, what it was. You remember Scholastic Kids? Yeah. You remember those books we used to get and stuff like that? Like they had a couple of like books that had this type of art style and uh, font style too. Right. That's what it gives me the vibe of. Yeah, I agree. I like that. But yeah. So, uh, but hey, I think this has been uh, more than enough. Uh, for us to be covering on the cereal tip, man. I, uh, I think this is a great place to come to a close after the freakies. Yeah, good old freakies. But before we close out, just 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 for everybody's sake, just if y'all could let me know, like if it all came down to it, there's one cereal left that you can have. What are you taking? Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Sugar, <laughs> sugar crisp. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps me going strong. <laughs> okay, Cleo. What about you? I'm going Lucky Charms, but I'm going the all marshmallow route, bro. I'll take these. Oh, all marshmallows? I want all marshmallows. I There's want sugar. No way that's good. Veins. I'll take it. Give it to me. Like, is it just like? I feel like that's hard to bite. Like, it There's like, no way that's good. I have a cereal show right now, and it most of them do not. It, it, it's it, it's for kids, and I don't know. It's like how Will was talking about pixie sticks, just sugar to the face. Most cereal right now, if you were to eat it, it don't it don't hold up. <laughs> they but they changed something, Pat. They for sure. I don't know what guidelines change for for recipes. They, it doesn't taste like when we were kids, and I think that's something changed. Sure. No, because I think that they they started adding less sugar because they saw it was dangerous. But even if you eat the revived stuff, like I had Lucky Charms, Count Chocula, I, I, we have like a different cereal every round and it is rough. Oh yeah. man. 
So that for that to be all marshmallows, I could even I can guess how that tastes. Oh no! <laughs> but the worst cereal, hands down, in history is grape nuts. I had the opportunity to tr taste that for the first time last year, and I was like, I can't believe people eat this. Oh, never as a kid, you never had your. I don't know. Never had that. Never. We had great. We had such a there. weird. I'm like, yo, people buy this. It's so bad. I don't you can get heat it. it up too, right? Huh? Like, like people would heat it up. Like what was the cereal you could heat up? Probably that, to be honest. It it, it was like made of Teflon. It was <laughs> <laughs> it well, was not well, good. Oh, well, right. Well, the rounded off mines is, is really basic and stuff like that, but I always stand by it. It's frosted mini weeks, man. I can't, I can't. Get that's it. your worst? No, no, that's the one I would go off with. Like the one you said, you would like which frosted one if you had one left? Oh, okay. Yeah. Frosted no. mini weeks? Yeah, no, my worst one is King Vitamin. That shit could go to hell in a handbasket and up Hitler's ass. Damn. I can't stand King that's Vitamin. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what my least favorite cereal is. I mean, obviously, grape nuts is is, is terrifying, but I kind of like some of the uh, the random healthy ones like uh, Crispix and stuff like that. Crispix wasn't bad with a little with a little sugar and stuff. Kicks too basic, too basic. I don't I understand kicks. kicks. I liked kicks growing up. Super weird. Why? It had a weird aftertaste that I really enjoyed. I don't that's know. That's because that's what you was telling yourself. That's what that is. No, 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 no. I, 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 I get why you would say that, but there was even like a point in college I was like buying them for myself. I wanted to believe so bad. My fault. Wait, wait. When Oreo O's first dropped, first, bro. Fire. Oh, they were so good. Can't do it Oreo now. Oreo O's were so fire, bro. Can't do it ne now. Never had them. Never had them. Huh? Never had them. For some Damn. reason. Huh? Were they not out there? No, they were, but just for some reason, they if they weren't sold out, it would be like like my mom just wouldn't finna have like that. Like she was like, like yo, variety pack. If she getting something big, it was either corn flakes, raisin bran, or uh, frosted mini wheats. I actually have my worst cereal ever, and this is actually no exaggeration. Um, Lucky Charms. I don't even think Lucky Charms was good as a kid. I think it, it had it had good branding. But oh man, it's it's not oh it's so bad. <laughs> it, it's the marshmallow. It's biting into the marshmallow. Feels so weird. You feel that squeak? You hear? Yeah, that? that's it. That's it right there. But the heart stars and horseshoes. Yeah, but the, that squeak the though. Cool. Branding, branding, the, all the branding. Golden rainbows and the red balloons, guys. So, Every other mascot had a good cereal behind it. That was the only one that was skating off by branding. So Cleo, you. You can bypass a spoonful of squeaks. Like you you good. They're magically watching. delicious, man. They're magically yeah. delicious. Oh, I just like that, don't get me wrong, I, I the taste ain't bad, but it's just I can't get past that squeak. And then you got me a spoonful of the squeaks. That's that like that just feels like my teeth. Ah, uh, you guys teeth are soft. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, well, all right. <laughs> wait, wait. Last one I want to throw out there. We want to talk about branding. You want to talk about one cereal in particular that got off on branding and commercials alone? Honeycomb. Never Freaking had a bowl. Dog. I remember the first time I had honeycomb. First of all, the pieces were like this damn big trying to put in your Massive. mouth. They were huge. You could only get like two on a spoon. Yeah. They're really? huge. Massive, bro. Like you either you not exaggerate. You at least like at max you could probably get four, but you had to have the big spoon to do that. Yes, bro, and it, and you had like two minutes to eat that cereal. Otherwise, disaster. Like even no, it wasn't honeycomb got by. No, because like they start expanding. Like that was the thing. Like it started expanding the honeycombs, and then they'll be like soft and mushy. But then it's just like continuing to soak in the milk. I'm about to send Kadima pick. If you could pull that little link up really quick, bro, and just see how how massive, like he said, they are compared to Cheerios right there next to it. They were huge. Oh, and they got stale so fast. They were terrible. Honeycomb had crazy commercials, though. Yeah, for real, though. I think that's the only reason why I bought it once, and I don't, I never got it again. It was not all that, bro. I, I we, think we should bring back Waffle Crisp, though. I was just about to say that, man, Waffle it had Crisp. syrup in it? That was, oh, God, top tier. Yes, Waffle oh. Crisp, if you're listening to this, come back. Hey, we want it back. 
Can we see the sugar uh sugar crisp commercial one more time before we leave? Because <laughs> we can't get enough of that sugar crisp. But uh yeah, <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the RK Tokens podcast. Uh, make sure you like follow, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for all RK tokens. Everything twitch.tv from Patrick Cloud, Cleo Thomas, Will Ferrell, and Cathadius. We want to thank all of y'all for tuning in, and we're going to close this episode out with some good old sugar bear, because he can't get yeah. enough for that sugar crisp. And we will catch you next time. Hello there. I'm Granny Goodwitch, the only human in the forest. Ready not, Granny, here I come. I heard that. It's Sugar Bear and he's after my sugar crisp again. I can't get enough of that sugar crisp, sugar crisp, sugar crisp. Oh, he's coming. Where'll I hide my post sugar crisp? It's a honey of a snack, you know. Better slow him up with my magic. I can't get enough of that sugar crisp. It keeps me going strong. He's the strongest bear I've ever known. Gotta hide my post sugar crisp. Here's a safe place. Sugar bear, honey, it's nice to see ya. Sure knows how to start his day a little bit better. You bet your booties, Granny. It's sugar sweet and honey flavored wheat, so it keeps me going strong. Thanks, Granny. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. He could have gotten sugar crisp in Post 10s, too. Post 10s has all the cereals kids want.